Hello, Andrews Elementary. I have a very special virtual art show for you to enjoy. Love, Miss Lukey. A thousand artworks, 293 humans, 189 school days, six grade levels, one art teacher. I'm proud of you all. I miss you. I'm so sorry I could not get your artwork back to you and do clay projects as well this year. I will make sure to make it up to you next year. All students study our core values in art class. Responsibility, perseverance, collaboration, respect, safety, and trust. I'd like to thank my awesome special areas team for being supportive this whole year. We miss you all and can't wait to see you next school year. Here is my makeshift photography lab in my backyard. Kindergarten art. We did a study on Frida Kahlo, a Mexican surreal artist who was a painter known for her self-portraits and inspired by nature, popular culture, and artifacts of Mexico. She is still widely inspirational across the world. Kindergarten started off the year with a watermelon paper collage like her painting. Kindergartners also did a snowman winter collage. We watercolored the background with white oil pastel resist snowflakes. Cut paper shapes with Sharpie coal pieces. We also studied Clementine Hunter, who was a self-taught folk artist from the Cane River region of Louisiana, who lived and worked on Melrose Plantation. She painted still lifes of zinnia flowers and scenes from parts of her life. Kindergartners did a zinnia flower still life painting inspired by Clementine Hunter for Black History Month. Students also collaborated on these Kandinsky quilts. Kinder first and second grade collaborated on one and third through fifth on the other. We were inspired by artist Wassily Kandinsky. He was a Russian abstract painter and art theorist. He had synesthesia, a condition that allows a person to appreciate sounds colors or words with two or more senses at the same time. He painted what he heard. Community building projects rule. Great work, Gators. First grade art. First grade started off the year studying and drawing a variety of lines. Then, painting in shapes with different tempera cake watercolors. First and third graders learned how to paint marigold flowers with liquid tempera paint. Once it was dry, we drew details with black and white oil pastels, then cut and glued them together. First graders made larger ones to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. I painted a portrait of Frida Kahlo, whom they studied as well. Then I displayed all of first grade's marigolds with her. Splatter paint is the best. We started splattering these backgrounds for a Black History Month project 
a collage based on Ashley Bryan's book, Beautiful Blackbird, but then school was closed. However, our Andrews alligator collages came to life. First graders learned facts about alligators and wetland habitats. We built community through creating these collages for months. First, students designed the wetland habitat backgrounds. We painted green paper by mixing blue and yellow. They drew and cut their alligators in pieces, then glued everything together. They even painted Mod Podge over the water to make them shiny. Andrews Gators, go Andrews, go. On Halloween, students and staff dressed as their favorite book characters. Miss Lukey was Mrs. Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. During the months of January and February, these eight works of art by Andrews students were displayed at the AISD Performing Arts Center. From the top left to the bottom right, we have artwork by Lizbeth S in third grade, Kayla in fifth, Marlene in fifth, Jesse in first, Nelson in third, Sophia K in first, Kimora in fifth, and Steve in second. Second grade art. We started the year with line and shape paintings with their name designed in contrast with oil pastels. We also made Mexican sombreros for Hispanic Heritage Month. The papel picado was made by fourth and fifth graders. Half of Fuentes' class. The other half of Fuentes' class. Creighton's class. Kinder first and second stamped and collaged Thanksgiving turkey place mats. Getting messy is fun. Second graders studied the color wheel. We made painted papers, then we collaged sunflower color wheels for springtime. Students also wrote reflections on their extra pieces of paper you see hanging with them. For civil rights activist study and Black History Month, we studied about Martin Luther King Jr. Then we drew a directed portrait of him. Students had freedom with designing their background and writing words of inspiration. Fifth graders learned how to make a tissue paper marigold flower for Hispanic Heritage Month. They became offerings for the school's ofrenda on Dia de los Muertos. To celebrate Dia de los Muertos, 
students, families, and teachers were able to contribute to this beautiful offenda dedicated to Mrs. Fanny M. Andrews and to lost loved ones. Papel Picado at the very top was made by fourth and fifth graders. Calaveta projects by third and fifth design displayed on the sides. Students' paper marigolds are around the ofrenda. We did a cultural study of Dia de los Muertos, of course. The Day of the Dead is a Mexican holiday celebrated throughout Mexico between October 31st to November 2nd and by people of Mexican heritage elsewhere. It is about prayer and remembrance of friends and family members who have died. People create altars and traditional dishes for the Day of the Dead. Third grade art. For Hispanic Heritage Month, third and fifth grade students studied about the Mexican holiday Dia de los Muertos. We drew, painted, and collaged these calaveras. We also studied Yayu Kusama. She is a Japanese contemporary artist, meaning still alive and working. She's 91 years old. She works in sculpture, installation, painting, performance, film, fashion, poetry, fiction, and other arts. Third grade students studied Kusama's artwork. We stamped paper with tempera paint, corks, and pencil erasers. Then we built sculptures in inspired by her. Many were displayed in the library. Unfortunately, I do not have any photos of those displays. I'm so sorry. Students studied emojis and how we can communicate feelings with them. We customized our own emojis. Mr. Tarnow and I had the privilege of working with Pre-K for the winter program this year. Artwork was displayed from all grade levels. Second through fifth graders learned how to cut paper snowflakes. Pre-K reindeers. Kindergarten singing during school and then in the evening first grade second grade third grade fourth grade fifth grade fifth grade singing in front of the whole school. This is called a panoramic pho photograph. Oh, so cute. For our school's Valentine's Day dance, kindergarten through fifth grade helped design decorations. With some of them, I put the, this backdrop together for photos. Fifth graders made this sweet banner for the dance. Fourth grade art. We started the year with line and shape paintings with their name designed and 
contrast with oil pastels. Students studied foxes and how to draw them. We collaged these beautiful winter scenes and incorporated how shadows move with light. We practice lots of origami. We did an artist study of Jean-Michel Basquiat. He was an American artist of Haitian and Puerto Rican descent. He became famous for cultural graffiti in New York, where rap, punk, and street art coalesced into early hip hop music culture by the 1980s. When he was in his early 20s, his neo-expressionist paintings were being shown all over the world. Students studied the neo-expressionist chaotic artwork of Basquiat. We designed self-expression portraits in his style. Here is my example from my live art performance during the Black History Month themed talent show. We had a Youth Art Month student exhibition. It is still displayed at the AISD Performing Arts Center, or the PAC. There is a virtual tour online where they took a 360 degree camera to photograph the entire show with thousands of works of art from kindergarten through 12th grade all across Austin. Congratulations to my students whose art is displayed here. Please go check out the virtual tour at austinisd.org slash fine dash arts. Here is the artwork that was in it. opening reception on March 8th. We had Justin from third grade visit. The family of Evie, Angel, and Sophia, as well as Leona. Fifth grade art. Students studied Dia de los Muertos and origami. We folded these origami skulls, designed the backgrounds, and made them pop off the paper. My cat is up helping me photograph your artwork. <laughs> Fifth graders experimented with warm and cool watercolor techniques to represent a sunset along water. Using styrofoam and printmaking techniques, students represented a place they call home with a capital city skyline. The cities that were chosen were Austin, Mexico City, San Juan, Havana, Tegucigalpa, Managua, Guatemala City, 
San Salvador, Khartoum, Kigali, Kinshasa, Kathmandu, Kabul, Baghdad, New York City, Houston, Chicago, Tokyo, and Berlin. Some play fun right before quarantine. Unfortunately, our time with play was cut short before quarantine happened, but I'm so glad we got to have some fun. For the Black History Month program themed talent show, for decoration in the cafeteria, I drew these portraits of influential African American people from many fields of study. Fifth graders helped color everything. We have Ashley Bryan and Maya Angelou as literary artists. For politicians, we have Shirley Chisholm and Barack Obama. Musicians, Bill Withers and Nina Simone. Artists, Jean-Michel Basquiat and Faith Ringgold. Athletes, Jackie Robinson and Serena Williams. Scientists, Katherine Johnson and Neil deGrasse Tyson. And civil rights activists, Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks. During the program, Ms. Lukey performed live art in the style of artist Jean-Michel Basquiat, while Mr. Tarnow riffed on his electric guitar in the style of blues player Oliver Nelson. Be a team player and come to catch night, the coordinated approach to child health. Miss Leakey and Mrs. Parlange tag teamed the relaxation station. We took over the music room. Come relax and create a mandala. We had little mandalas, medium ones you could draw, and big coloring sheets to take. During catch night, families were able to relax through coloring or creating mandalas of different sizes together. Notice the big pieces of paper on the, the floor there. On the screen, I played a time-lapse video of Tibetan monks de designing a sand mandala. You can see that in the bottom left picture. I am so pleased we could have this program the night before quarantine started. We miss and love you all. Congratulations to these first and fifth graders who won these bikes. Great catch night, Coach Rosales. For virtual learning during the quarantine, students engaged in continuous learning from their homes. I made a website for special areas and art class. Mr. Tarnow and I hosted fine arts fun Zoom classes two times per week. Here are the artworks students posted on our Andrews Art Wall Padlet. Starting with kindergarten, 
Benjamin. Angel. More of Angel's artwork. Juliana. Juan. Jaden. Felipe. Prince. And Samuel. Sophia K. More of Sophia K's artwork. Sophia S. Dejune. Joe. Mia. Easy. Lizbeth S. And Delimar. Leah Paula. Isaul. Makaya. Cristiano. Paula O and Rupesh. Priscilla. Mike. Way to go, Mike. Kenya. Kanika and Ar Arietna. Barack and David. Brian and Brisa. Andrew. Thank you, Andrew, for your dedication to fine arts. He posted on behalf of his brother, Jonathan, for this awesome pillow fort. Alexis. My belly. Miss Martin. Thank you so much, Miss Martin, for creating our fun little advertisement for the Zoom class and everything else you helped us with. Mrs. Parange. Miss Goo. More Miss Goo artwork. Some of my artwork during quarantine. I've also been baking. And these are some of the lesson examples. Way to go, Gators. We are very proud of you. Have a great summer and keep being creative.